many distinguished alums here right now. We got Lyle Nago playing on the very first <laughs> Ferris State team. He got the plaque to show we beat yeah, Grand Valley. It's well, a young program. It was a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. What was the score of that game? I don't even remember. I think it's like <laughs> eleven to two or something. eleven two of Bulldogs over Grand Valley. If yeah. I, or it, it, yeah. yeah, okay. Rob Smith, that's back here. Rob played. Uh, and, and again, it was it's a young program, but what were the years? 79-83. Never misses a golf outing, ever. Which a lot of important people. Perk Weisberger, our athletic director, does a great job. Not only here, but if you've been following the Ferris sports, uh, winning at all different levels. Matter of fact, they're putting a lot of heat on our team right now. We want to make sure we turn this around in the second half. We got Jeff Blashill right over here, coach of the Red Wings. Uh, guest coach on our bench tonight. I heard it was, I was I was a guest coach for two years, my last two years. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, there was a guy here that uh, John Bergeron. Does that did you play with John Bergeron? He was after you, I think. He, I coached him in juniors, but he went on to play at Ferris, and he came to say hi. He's going to watch the game, but he was pointing to Jeff. He's saying, "Hey, that's the coach." Oh yeah, yeah. He played golfer, and I told the kids, "Yeah, Jeff played golf." And, if he hadn't, I'd be coaching the Red Wings right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and speaking of goaltending tandems, we have Seth Apper right here. Seth played the same time Jeff did, the same era. How about that? Two guys that played at the same time, both doing great in, in the coaching profession, both proud alums and, and great people who both married above themselves. <laughs> they married good Ferris girls and uh, what you need to do, but they, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to turn this over to Seth because if you think I can talk, this young man, this, let me get a chair. <laughs> well, we'll get you out there for the start of the game. Okay. Uh, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Well, you forgot uh, Kenzie Homer. I don't know. He's six foot seven. I'm not sure how you plan that. But Kenzie, uh, 99, 94, 99 in that era. So Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie played with uh, me for one year as well, so I was fortunate enough to play at Ferris from 92 to 96. Uh, John Gruden, your son Jonathan, is on our team. I played two years with Grudes, played uh, two years with Lash, uh, and, and everything really, uh, with the exception of my family, uh, everything really I have in, in my life I owe to Ferris State Hockey. Uh, that's, that's how much it's, mean to me, it's meant to me. Uh, playing for Coach Daniels, Coach Family, Coach Kaufman, it's crazy, it's the same coaching staff that that was there. Um, it, it's just how much they believed in us as, as people uh, was was really special. Uh, by no means was I a great player. It's funny, yesterday we were at the Bowling Green Michigan game with our families and Blash and I were watching it. Bowling Green had a succession of like three breakaways in a row. It was like breakaway, rebound, Michigan was nowhere to be found. Breakaway, rebound, Michigan was nowhere to be found. Finally a goal. And, and, uh, and one of the other guys we were with, Gordy Hunt, who's a Ferris State alum, said, Man, that looked like something we would have done at Ferris. I said, no, because Blash and I went to made the first save. <laughs> <laughs> there would never have been the second and third. We like the, Blash and I like the kid that nobody high-fived in Yost Arena more than him and I, because one of us was getting pulled and the other was going in. <laughs> Saying, good luck tonight, buddy. They really got it up. <laughs> so, but, uh, but really, uh, just unbelievable memories at Ferris State. Um, I met my wife there, met my best friends there. Uh, one of my, both my daughters, Addison and Campbell right here, and my wife, Jill. Um, so I'm just a real proud Ferris alum. He, in every office, I've, I worked at the University of Denver uh, for nine years. I worked at RPI for 11. And now here in every office I've been, I've got a little Ferris State Bulldog statue. Uh, always remind me where I come from and, and the people, and a lot of familiar faces tonight, but the people of this program and, and the coaches um, just meant the world to me and, and are really why so many of us uh, are successful. And I think the, the great thing about Ferris State Hockey is it's a family and it doesn't matter. Like I didn't play with Rob Smith, but when we see each other, it, it, it feels like you did. And that's the, what the, you guys have all created and certainly what, what Coach Daniels has created is, is that we're all proud to be Bulldogs and we're all certainly rooting for Bulldogs. We're always following the scores. We're always checking in and seeing how they're doing. So uh, it, it's a real special thing for me to get the coach against him. Uh, I've had that, that uh, opportunity uh, when I was at RPI as well. That was something important to me is to bring my team uh, back to Ferris to play. Uh, and when I was fortunate enough to get to be the coach here for the U.S. National Program, uh, it's one of the first things we did was we called Drew and, and Coach 
to see if we can get them on the schedule. Uh, because I know how well coached they are, I know how good they are, I know how competitive they are, and how much of a test it's going to be for our young men. So, um, just again, just thank you for having me back. It's a privilege. I'm a proud Bulldog. I'll always be a proud Bulldog. Jeff, uh, just talk about what it means uh, to come come here tonight to celebrate Ferris State hockey, and obviously uh, you have a connection here with uh, with both programs. Well, no, it's it's great, you know, to be able to come have the Bulldogs. This is uh, the town I live in in Plymouth here, so it's great to be able to see them. I don't get a chance during the year, obviously, come back for the golf outing, but to be able to come back see the Bulldogs is awesome. And with Seth Appert, one of my best friends and uh, former uh, roommates and, and teammates, coach in the U.S. program, and made for a perfect night. What are some of those great memories you have uh, from your time at Ferris State Hockey and with Seth Effort? Well, most of it I can't talk about, but uh, you know, we, we, you know, the, the bond of friendship that we built there is amazing. I think Coach Downs done an unbelievable job of building a family. Uh, the longevity of the time that he's been there, you can just see it build through the golf outing, and whether you played with somebody or you might have missed them in their years, we're all Bulldogs, and it means a lot to us. I know you get a chance to see a lot of these former alums at the hockey outing every summer and uh, just talk about uh, what, what uh, being around those guys uh, is like uh, all being former Bulldog. Keeps you young, you know, it keeps you young in your memories and, and you, you, you think you just graduated a, a couple years ago and it's been a little longer than that, but I, it just, it's a bond that, that is inseparable, it really is. It uh, it's means a ton to me, uh, so much of what I have in life is because of my time at Ferris State and it means a ton. Jeff, uh, best of luck the rest of the year. Thanks, Rob.